The peculiar dance of Twin Peaks continues, its steps marked by sorrow and secrets. Agent Cooper, ever the enigma, finds himself literally upside down, a reflection of the town's inverted morality. Meanwhile, Audrey Horn, with her flirtatious glances and enigmatic smile, seeks to entangle herself with a charismatic agent, her motivations a blend of desire and deeper, unspoken yearnings. The town, still reeling from Laura's death, learns the brutal nature of her final hours. Bound and subjected to unspeakable acts, Laura's last day paints a harrowing picture of a life far removed from her image as the homecoming queen. Suspicion swirls around Leo Johnson, his violent tendencies and bloody shirt casting him in a sinister light. His rage, barely contained, simmers beneath the surface, erupting over the simplest of provocations, a missing shirt, a potential harbinger of his guilt. Cooper, with his intuitive grasp of the human heart, sees the truth of James and Laura's secret love, a tender yet doomed connection. Donna, swept up in the maelstrom, realizes her own feelings for James, a revelation tinged with both sweetness and sorrow. In the Lamplighter Inn, Cooper encounters another of Twin Peaks' simple pleasures, a cherry pie so delicious it's lethal. The town, with its oddities and charm, continues to ensnare him, even as he delves deeper into its shadows. Josie Packard, with her tenuous grasp of English idioms, reveals her own vulnerabilities, her foreignness in Twin Peaks a mirror to Cooper's outsider status. The discovery of a fish in the percolator at the Briggs residence adds a surreal touch to the morning's proceedings. It's a bizarre incident that somehow fits perfectly in the town's tapestry of the strange and unexpected. Catherine and Ben's illicit affair, another thread in the web of Twin Peaks' infidelities, speaks to the universal search for connection, however misguided. Laura's mother, Sarah, is a portrait of grief, her sorrow a constant, aching presence. Her visions of a mysterious figure, Bob, with his predatory gaze, introduce a new layer of horror to the unfolding mystery. It's a moment that chills the spine, suggesting a darkness that lurks not just in the woods, but within the very souls of Twin Peaks residents. Major Briggs, a stern figure of authority and discipline, confronts his wayward son Bobby at the dinner table. It's a clash of generations and values, the Majors slap a punctuation mark in their tumultuous relationship. Elsewhere, Cooper and Truman find solace in pie and coffee, their camaraderie a small beacon of light in the gathering gloom. The Log Lady, with her cryptic messages and enigmatic presence, offers Cooper a glimpse into the town's deeper mysteries. Her log, she insists, has something to say about Laura's death, a statement that, in any other place, would be dismissed as the ramblings of a madwoman, but in Twin Peaks, carries the weight of prophecy. As the episode closes, Dr. Jacoby, the town's eccentric psychiatrist, is overcome with emotion, his tears a testament to the complex web of relationships and emotions that Laura's death has unraveled. The town of Twin Peaks, with its linky and blend of the ordinary and the bizarre, continues its macabre waltz, each step revealing more of the darkness that lies beneath its surface.